Sending text messages on your Quansheng handheld. So in the comments section of one of my previous videos, somebody recommended that I give this firmware by Camille a look. It's based on the Exuma firmware, with just a few slight uh, adaptations and changes. So before we look at the messaging feature then, we'll have a quick look at the menu. So as you'd expect, the menu is very similar to that of uh, Exuma. Uh, there's a few things removed from there. The DTMF tones have been taken out just to allow for space to uh, allow the uh, messaging system to work and things like that. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, it behaves the same. It's still got a uh, spectrum analyzer, so if we press F and 5, uh, it takes us into that um, spectrum analyzer, but it is a little bit different to the Exuma one. It's perhaps a little bit more like the IJV uh, spectrum on this. So we'll come out of that, because what we're more interested in is the uh, the messaging mode, or the text messaging. So the first thing we'll need to do is activate the message mode or message modulation. So I'm going to press the menu button and I'm going to scroll up uh, to message modulation type. At the moment that's off. And we're going to press menu again and then we're going to choose between FSK 700, FSK 450 or AFSK 1.2. So your yeah, FSK 450 uh, it says in the instructions is for sort of poor communications, uh, 700s for sort of medium communications, and then your AFSK 1.2 is when there's there's good comms and uh, you want the best quality signal. So uh, we're going to give give it a go on AFSK 1.2. So I'm going to press menu, and then we're going to exit that, and then to get into the uh, text message mode, we're going to press the function button and then menu which now puts us into the messenger mode. Uh, it is very small, so I uh, appreciate it's going to be quite difficult to uh, to read. So what it then does is uses the keypad as a, uh, a standard uh, keypad where the letters would be in the, the usual place, uh, which obviously it isn't marked on this one, so uh, button one uh, would be your special characters, but button two gives you A, B and C, D, E and F on three uh, and so on. Um, so yeah, you probably need to have a little play around with that. I know it's not ideal not having the uh, the actual letters written on there, but if, uh, if you're a bit old school and you're used to the Nokia 3210, then uh, you may well remember from back in the day how you used to be able to do uh, text messaging. And it works pretty much the same. So you can see, um, again, it's difficult to spot, but you can see at the moment um, there's a little B there, or there's a, a, an uppercase B just to show that it's in uppercase mode. If I press the function button, no, press the star key, that's it. Star key changes are between um, upper and lower case. If I press the star key again, you'll see you get a number two on there. So that will put um, numbers in. So if I now press one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go, we're putting numbers in. Uh, the zero button will put a zero in unless we press the star key and put it back into uh, your letters, so on a capital letter at the moment, if I press the zero, it'll just give us a space. It'll only give us a space if you're not in uh, numeric mode. Uh, so now that we're in uh, capital letters, we'll try and write a little message. So I know that T is on number eight, so T, E, so on E, for, there we go, E, S, uh, we press seven four times, two, three, four, there we go, T, E, S, and then T again, which is on number eight. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, zero, space, and then test, hopefully you can see that, and then to send the message, um, we press the menu button. So I'll bring another radio in, that we've uh, switched the uh, mode on as well. And uh, obviously they both need to be on the same frequency, so I've programmed a uh, uh, a data frequency on the two meter band and I'm just going to hit the menu button on the one I want to send the message and you'll hear that we get that tone and um, again quite difficult to see but you should see there's a small envelope just flashing at the top of the screen there 
uh, and then we need to just the same as, as we did on the previous radio put it into message mode by pressing function and then the menu button and there you go you can see our message has been received and um, we've even got an acknowledgement as well so um, there's a little uh, a little indicator on the uh, on the radio that sent it to uh, show that it's been received by the, uh, the receiving radio as well. So to exit the message mode then you just need to simply press the exit button and that will take us back to uh, VFO or channel mode whatever you're in and uh, something else that this will do is apparently it incorporates uh, message hopping mesh network functionality. Now I've not done anything with Meshtastic but um, apparently this can be used for that so I'll put a link in the description down below to the um, the github page on this but as always i hope this has been an interesting little video if you've got any uh, suggestions for other firmwares that i should have a look at or try out then uh, please stick it in the comments down below hit the old like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one 73